Hi, welcome uh, back to Team Woodship Reviews. Now, remember this? This was a, a frame I picked up from uh, eBay. And I paid about £18. And uh, I thought I'd get a spare one of them if I break the arm. Keep these chips. But they were out of stock. They're out of stock, I couldn't believe it. So, obviously, it's been popular, so I went. Uh, check the other day, and guess what? They're back in stock. I'm just give you an idea. There's the frame. It's an exact copy in four mil uh, pure carbon. It's not a, a, a wafer. I don't know what you can see. It's not wafered with a standoffs, a carbon top deck. Put a foam rubber now, a strap, screws, rubber feet. And uh, the Matec power distribution board. So I was thinking, being as I have the white case, should I build another one with the black case? Hmm. Get it, get it. You know you want it. Get it. Whatever you want it, you need it. Now come on, John. Be sensible. You've got lots of quadcopters. Do you really need another quadcopter? What do we do? Don't listen to him. Order it. You want it. You've got to have it. You need it. Come on now, John. Listen to your heart. Your heart will tell you what to do. How do I decide what is the right thing to do? Luminaire case. Run cap. This time I have the Luminaire F4 flight controller with built in power distribution board. Woohoo! So, and it doesn't got a built in receiver, so I've ordered the XSR uh, LBT, of course, to go with my. Uh, and look at these. Right, give you an idea. There's the uh, TBS Triumph. Are you all familiar with that? Well, this is the Axia. <coughs> I think. Oh, I think it's the Axi by Luminaire. But look at the size difference. So that should fit in there, nice. So. I'm liking these already. I only hope they work. And there it is. So that's what we're looking at. It's gonna be same as that. <clears throat> but it's gonna be black. Yin and yang. And just to make life a little bit more interesting, I'm going <clears throat> with the 2300 red bottoms. So this thing is gonna motor. So, Really excited about seeing how this performs, but I have a matching pair. <laughs> so, yeah, all I've got to do is build it. The air has been blue tonight. I was absolutely pulling my hair out, driving myself nuts. 
you can see I put a bit of hot glue on there but the camera connection basically your camera goes onto the board VTX goes onto the board you've got an OSD built into this board that actually relays the OSD information out onto your video which is uh, quite uh, neat so as you can see I've got the ESCs in their little caddies the 20 amp ESCs and the red cam red bottoms uh, this board is quite uh, it's quite compact I give it a it's uh, the connections are good no problem soldering on uh, I'm not going to try and explain it but it's basically video in video out um, for the camera and the VTX now interestingly the this Matek um, video transmitter now as you can see I put some hot glue I didn't like the fact that the aerial there was just on a little is it IPX connector uh, so I put some glue on it so the cable can move what I'm going to do is use the pigtail up and I'm going to actually cable tie it there uh, as if it was the, the main aerial so yeah this is uh, this is looking kind of good so uh, as you can see it's a quite a simple setup what I've done I've connected to the TX of the Matic board to the TX of the flight controller and I'm using um, UART 6 on this one so I've got it connected to there that's where they say to go if it's wrong I'll shift it but th that's where this is, is set to be so there's some setup in beta flight where you have to connect that to, uh, you see you configure it um, on the ports so hopefully I should be able to get the script through to my um, Tyrannis to actually change the channels. I don't quite know how, but or is it done through the video? Not sure. Anyway, that's something I need to uh, research a bit more. But yep, yeah, that's going on there, and I'm about ready to box it up and give it a test flight. You can see the uh, the camera connection is, is straight in there, so I should have a full OSD. So looking forward to that. So I'm almost at the point now for testing it. So bolt this up, box it up, and let's have a look. Right, as you can see now, that the, the board is on. It's quite neat. Keeping the cables on the side. Uh, I got the XSR receiver there. And I put an antenna on it. Never power the VTX without an antenna on. You should know that. So, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at the Matek unit. So I'm going to find a battery. A battery and I'm going to plug it in. And if it smokes, then I'm not going to be happy. Right. As you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't. There's some LEDs on. Now regardless to the fact that it can be programmed and linked that's something I need to look into there's these buttons here and if I press these buttons right that's flashing so I assume I press the other button that's that's flashing the band so I assume I press the other button then to yeah jump the bands so it's quite intuitive so I don't know which band is which so it's something I need to look up and then I press it again and then I get the channels flashing so I can change the channels and press it again and I don't know whether you can see but you can see 500 225 it's on 25 milliwatt I'll leave it on 25 milliwatt for now so that's channel 1 band B so I need to look up to see what race band is and I need to yeah basically so all I need to do now is put this the receiver in the lid and put the lid on. Hey, hey. almost there. Right, all powered up, and I have OSD. If I put the cap on, you can see I've configured it. So it shows the flight mode, which is acro at the moment, the battery voltage, and everything else. What I haven't done is calibrated any of the the voltages. Sixteen point. 16.2 let's have a look what my battery is and the battery voltage 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 16.2 
16.2 so not bad I haven't got a clue what frequency I'm on so I'll have to try and figure out what that is you could probably see it I can't see it in blind as a bat so yeah all I gotta do now configure it up get it all uh, set up now with my transmitter and test fly it <laughs> 